<laughs> All right, River Bluff Baggers here, getting ready to take our uh, northern trip. Uh, we're going to head over to Davenport, Iowa today, kind of follow the Mississippi River up to Clinton, Iowa. Uh, got a few stops, a couple of cool stops, and so uh, we're going to document that. Uh, what about the ride, Tom? Well, it's been two weeks since it's rained, and we planned this ride, and we're going to go north finally because we always go south when it's hot, and it's the coldest weekend of the summer, and here we go north. So it never fails. We ne we can't ever plan it out right. So, but we'll have fun. Yeah, and I'm ready for some cold weather. Uh, well, it's just been a hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for some more of our videos coming up. We have more on Eureka Springs and uh, we'll get these uh, trips out here. And Brother Joe's going with us today. Hi, there he is. Yeah. All right, so uh, <laughs> we'll, all right, we'll see you on down the road here. Hey guys, it's uh, River Wolf Baggers. Uh, I did a solo trip up in Iowa last year on just a wind therapy run. And uh, I come across this Welcome Bolt Soldier Memorial Park and decided to bring the River Bluff Baggers with me to show them and I'm uh, going to show you guys as well. Uh, so it's on Highway 34 in Albia. Iowa. So, hope you like it, and here we go. It's pretty impressive so far. It's, it's pretty, pretty nice. Hope everybody likes it. All right, River Bluff Baggers here. We're in Albia, Iowa at the Welcome Home Soldier Memorial. Uh, there's about seven acres here, 100 flags. There's 21 white crosses to symbolize the 21 gun salute. I heard the story, this guy, his name's Jim Keller. He uh, had read a book by another veteran, and that guy's name was Gerald Coffey. And uh, he just got interested in uh, veterans' causes, and uh, he actually met the author. And when he met the author, the author said, uh, Welcome home, soldier. And uh, he said he hadn't heard that in 30 years since he'd been in Vietnam. And so he came back to this town and, and uh, established, uh, again, this uh, little park here. And so we're going to do a little exploring here at the uh, Welcome Home Soldier Memorial. Incredible, that's for sure. So he took your grandson stuck it in there, so now you can't play with it no more. Is that what he did? Huh. It's pretty cool. And what was your name? My name is 
Judy. And you said that came off Hitler's desk? Yeah, my uncle was a medic in the army. Oh. And um, after the big invasion over there in Germany, uh -huh. he was one of them that had to go into the caves and look for any of our hurt soldiers from the battle they had. And uh, when he left, he swiped this off the Hitler's desk. It's pretty cool. Because after they left, they were going to just blow up the caves anyway. So they could take anything they wanted. And then he gave it to my mom, and I was like three years old, and, and uh, that was his sister. And uh, I threw it down and broke his neck. <laughs> <laughs> so then she put him up in this uh, her china cabinet. And, 79 when she went to the nursing home and she took it out and she gave it to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> so That's cool. Remember, but it was back in the corner and I wasn't allowed to touch it <laughs> all those years. But it's pretty neat to have. Yeah, it is. And, and I won't see another one. Yeah. No, you won't. <laughs> Never be another one. And mm. No more Hitler. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. All right, we're uh, heading right here through Burlington, Iowa. Spot Tom and I discovered a few years ago. We came up here up to Davenport, took a little trip. It's a little bit up the Mississippi River, but uh, when I was searching kind of places to go, I found Snake Alley, which is supposedly the second crookedest road in the United States after uh, the road in San Francisco. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check this little uh, adventure out again. Take these people down this uh, road and uh, see if we can make it down without dumping the bikes or something. <laughs> little backstory to that is me and Neil was uh, taking this trip and Jerry had just gotten the motorcycle and kind of wanted to go with us but we had told him that it's just a two night trip and we'll be back we ain't going no place but Iowa and we ended up, ended up, ended up going into uh, Wisconsin a picture of the Wisconsin uh, state sign and you know he got mad he got mad because uh he thought we was just going to Iowa and he thought it was no big deal, but we ended up doing this and we decided it was a, another trip worth uh, going down it and showing everybody else. Okay. You gonna throw the drone up down here? That would be kind of cool, but yeah, you do that. Put the drone up. And we'll ride down. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll record it. Well, <laughs> we, we do have we do have problems with that once in a while. Nah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is a cool little town. Beautiful neighborhood. There's some nice homes here. This is kind of the historic part of uh, Burlington. I wonder how fast we can go, Jerry. At least in third gear on <laughs> Maybe not. Not if I'm just coasting. Unless you're going to pass me on this corner. I can, but I'm not sure I'll make the next corner. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little rough through here. Yeah, it's getting rougher. Jeez, Chris. This brick's been here a long time, so.
Denver Belt Baggers here. Just made it to the Mississippi River. We're gonna head north right now. We just got done riding one of the coolest little things. It's called Snake Alley in Burlington, Iowa. It's the second crookedest road in the United States uh, after Lombard Street in San Francisco. And uh, just what a fun ride. And uh, it's a get to Burlington, Iowa. What a beautiful little town and heading north from here. It was made in 1894 and it's break bricks laid and they are not smooth. No, it was a no, rough no, ride. No. They're not smooth at all. You don't even, uh, you just pull your clutch in and go down it. That's about it. Yeah. There's no giving a gas. You can't go up it. You can only go down it. I wish they'd let us go up it. Yeah, we want to go up it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we what a good time. So, yeah. got more to see. Here we go.